Have you ever been in a situation whereby you hear a leader speaks and you say, wow, he can make a good leader when we elect him. He can make a good leader when he becomes a president. He can make a good leader when he becomes the member of parliament. He can become a good leader when he becomes a governor. He can become a good leader when he becomes a senator. Why? Because of his speech. Have you ever wondered why? Why? People, they say one thing in front of the people and then they do the exact opposite in front of the same people. Have you ever wondered by why a few people whereby integrity is, is, is the gem, is a gem, is a gem, is fine, is more fine than gold, is more fine than diamond. And if you find someone who keep their word of the whole time, respect them highly. So what am I saying? I'm saying that we have the president of Senegal, right? Faye, F-A-Y-E. Whereby before the president, he was speaking about kicking French troops out of Senegal, right? He was speaking about forming their own currency. He was speaking a lot of great things about what he will do to the country. But right when he was elected, and right when he entered into the state house, he started doing things in like, in like, in, in some of consideration. Whereby we have the deputy, his running mate, at the time of the election, Sonko. And they were saying, why is 60, in 60 years, 60 plus years, we have French military troops in our country. What are that? What have they done in our country? We must kick them out. We, we must want to let them go. Again, we have resources. We have gold and oil and things of that nature. And we must, we must form partnerships that is, has best interest. The Senegalese people interest right first, not the French interest first. And what we start to see now is that Faye, he's doing the exact opposite. Okay, but the people are watching. But the people are watching. The people are watching him. Whereby he was speaking about kicking French military troops. Like, what is the colonizer or your colonizer, so to speak? People who gave you fake independence, they are still in your country. How can you negotiate with a terrorist? How can you negotiate with a killer? How can you negotiate with a crime criminal? And I'm not calling the French people criminals. And I'm not calling the, 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 the French people terrorists. And I'm not calling the French people thieves. All I'm saying is this. Listen closely. Listen to me very well. All I'm saying is this. People are tired. We live in an age where people, they highly respect people who keep their word. We live in a time and age where people, they highly respect people who do and walk their talk. If you say you're going to do it, you do it. No excuses. If you say you're going to do A, you do A. If you say you're going to create 5 million jobs to the youth, you better create 5 million jobs to the youth. If you say, hey, listen, I'm organizing half a million people to get jobs in, in foreign land, to get jobs in, in the state, to get jobs in this ministry, to get a job in this department, you better do it. Because the fade of lies, the fade of the reality will come knocking to your door. When your people will start saying, hey, listen, this is the leader that we don't want. This is the leader that we don't want. Africa is rising and the revolution, it cannot stop. The revolution, it cannot stop. It has not even started yet. The Nigerian revolution is not 
is not even starting yet. The Kenya revolution is not even starting yet. Uganda revolution is bubbling up. Tanzania revolution, the same thing is bubbling up. South Africa revolution, oh my God. Listen, Africa revolution will not stop. Because it's time and time again, great leaders like Thomas Sankara, great leaders like like Gaddafi, Muammar, whereby he was saying, listen, let's form an African Union, United States of Africa, whereby we can have our own currency, whereby we can have our own military, whereby we can have our own bank. We have we can we can have our own country currency. This was key. Whereby we can have our own currency that is backed up by gold and not the US dollar and not the CFA franc or not the euro or not the pound. We can be the richest country in the world, not, not the richest, the wealthiest that ever exists. Listen, we have more, oh, we have this guy called uh, uh, he lived in Mali one time, uh, Musa. Uh, his name was, it, it was probably worth around 400 billion dollars in today, more than close to 500 billion dollars in today's value. Uh, Musa, I believe his name was Musa, the richest man, the richest man. He was wealthy than Elon Musk, if today he was alive, wealthy than Elon Musk, wealthy than Bill Gates, wealthy than Warren Buffett, wealthy than any human being on earth. What the billions, right? At the same time, he was an African, a black African. <laughs> That's the beauty about it, right? The African Revolution is, is, has not even started yet. The revolution is here, and all the African youth. We must rise up. We are rising up. We are rising up. We are rising up. Pan Africanism is rising. Good governance is rising. Whereby the government will be kept ac accountable <coughs> for the action, for the anything they do. They keep kept to account. And the time is here whereby we want leaders who will rule with integrity. Not rule, lead with integrity. Leaders who lead with integrity, authenticity, and transparency at its fullest. So with that being said, make Africa great again. Make Africa greater and greater and greater and wealthier and happier and peaceful and progressing and prosperous Africa from Senegal to Kenya, from Kenya to South Africa, from South Africa to Egypt, from Egypt to Morocco, from Morocco to Nigeria, from Nigeria to Tanzania, from Somali to Namibia, from Namibia to St. Helena, to sit from St. Helena to Angola, through Angola, Niger, N Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, and the rest of the world. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, see you guys.